Hey everybody, hi, this is Coach Kevin McCarthy. I wanted to spend a couple minutes with you and tell you a water safety story um, that happened a while ago, it was about uh, 25 years ago when my dad was my age, about 65 and I was about 40. And I invited him to come up and go on a kayak adventure weekend with me over Labor Day weekend. And um, so he flew into Seattle Tacoma Airport from John Wayne Airport down in Orange County, Newport Beach area. And we rented a kayak, um, put it on top of my rig, my uh, truck, and we drove up to Green Lake, which is a small, beautiful lake in the Seattle area, uh, just north of Seattle. And there's a beautiful walking trail around the lake. It's nice and warm in the summertime. And so we thought we'd put the kayak on this lake to do some testing. We'd never been in a kayak together before. And uh, we thought we'd try to dump it and see if we could ride it ourselves while we remained in the kayak and just turn it over with our paddles from underwater. So we figured it was a nice warm lake to do this in, so we gave it a try. And, and I remember uh, we did some planning beforehand. We said, uh, my dad said, okay, when we turn and get underwater, I'm gonna knock on the hull three times. And on that third knock, I'm gonna, let's all, let's, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh no. Oh, maybe I should start over again. But let's keep going, what the heck. So, um, Anyway, so uh, we turned the kayak over and I heard the knock three times and we both tried as best we could to right the kayak and we couldn't do it. And so, um, but we had a provision for that. If we couldn't right it, um, we would just get out of the kayak, but it was pretty funny. I heard after we tried to right it for about five seconds, I just heard this gurgling sound underwater. <coughs> Bail out, bail out. So it was pretty funny. So anyway, we both got out and we came to the surface and we were laughing. So we at least tested this to see if in fact we could ride the kayak and we couldn't. So we made appropriate plans otherwise and um, we wore wetsuits for our adventure because we were heading north that same day up um, to the, up on the Strait of Juan de Fuca, Puget Sound area, up above the San Juan Islands in the Canadian Gulf Islands. So we actually drove our car on a ferry across to Vancouver Island, and then we made our way out to Sydney Beach, and we took the kayak off and got all our gear ready. But by the time we got everything ready to go, it was almost dark. In fact, the sun had just set. But it was only about, hmm, maybe about a half a mile across, and we thought we could paddle this, heck, in about 15, 20 minutes, not a problem. But one of the plans that we had not made was for the current. And ideally we should have tried to make that journey at a transitional tide where it was maybe starting to slow down and just turning to go the other way. And that way we could have made our way across in a slight drifting tide in one direction. And then when the tide transferred, it would just kind of bring us back on course. Little did we know we were in a full steam ahead, uh, current and um, it took us way down the strait and down to the far tip of the island and it took us instead of taking about 25 minutes to a half hour to get across it must have taken us um, a good hour hour and maybe hour and a half to get across and then we found ourselves at the other end of the island and so we hugged the island and had to stay in about three feet of water out of the main current and then just wiggle our way back up and in and out of the coves and such along the island to get back to the campground. So the whole journey took us over two hours and should have only taken us maybe a half hour to cross. And so most of that paddle time across the channel as well as coming back up the beach was in the dead dark. And it was not a moonlit night, it was very dark. We had some flashlights with us, we were prepared that way, but um, we were a little nervous and uh, hope, hoping we would not find ourselves with a boat or a killer whale out there in the water, and, uh, but we were okay. Um, but uh, it was very, very dark, and fortunately there were some lights at the campground and we could see in the campground there um, those lights the whole time we were drifting, but we could really tell we were starting to lose sight of it and it was dimming as we got down the coast, but we could still navigate our way. But I wanted to tell you that story because anytime you go into open water, especially this time of year, it's springtime, 
And like here in Seattle, it's going to be 75 today, beautiful day. It's toward the end of the day now. Um, it's going to be 80 this weekend. Beautiful, beautiful day. But the water is still cold. The water is about 55 degrees and really, really cold. So if you jump in, you're going to be maybe even lose your breath. And, and hopefully you don't lose it as you're going underwater because you could even actually breathe in some water, which would be very dangerous. So anytime you go in open water, be prepared. Know the water temperature. Know if there's currents or tides that you need to deal with and how to, how to work with that. Um, check out the surf conditions. If it's a beach where it has some surf or windsurf, um, talk to lifeguards, see if there are riptides. Always go out with a buddy. I know we're in a COVID-19 pandemic right now, but and keep your distance in a safe distance, but never go in open water by yourself. Never go in any kind of water by yourself. You all should always have a buddy with you, uh, but especially, especially open water and always tr do your best to swim where there is a uh, lifeguard on duty that can keep an eye on you. So um, be safe this spring. Um, always swim with a buddy who's a really good swimmer like you. And if you're not a really good swimmer yet, always, always go in the open water or, or in the pool right close to a lifeguard so they can keep an eye on you and stay in shallow water until you're a very strong swimmer. And there's a lot of alternatives for that. Um, there's a water sport game called Squim, which is just a great way to learn how to swim and also get water strong. And we'll talk about that in a different video. So God bless you this weekend. Be really safe out there and we'll catch up with you another time. Take care. Thanks for watching.